Uh, tired of the microwave? No. Story today in Quartz.com. I know I've never heard of that. Microwave sales have fallen or remained flat every year for the last 10 years in the United States. Unit sales have tumbled by 25% since 2000. Because nobody buys them because they buy a home that already has one in it. And 40%... Uh, since their peak in 2004. You just wait a second here, <laughs> lady. Uh, the waning popularity of the American microwave deserves a closer look. Now, for 40 years, Americans bought microwaves by the millions, it says here, and more of them each year. 90% of American households own a microwave, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, which means, I, I don't know, are they looking at that too? How much time we spend cooking? Bastards. Mm-hmm. Uh, that broad market penetration is likely one reason sales have tailed off. But sales of toaster ovens, which have similar penetration, have boomed since 2000. I, I don't understand the logic behind mm-hmm. that. Last year, shipments of other kitchen appliances rose by nearly 8%, while microwave shipments fell 5%. So you would think, all right, it, it, the whole idea here is, well, you don't need a new microwave because you already have an oven, you already have a, a cooktop, you already have a refrigerator, you know, other stuff. Nobody what? uses that other stuff. Uh, is it because of the... I just, am I, what, what is, planet am I on here where the two of it, uh, you've never cooked anything in your life? Never. I, I have. I'm a, I'm a I've guy. cooked. I've well, cooked. Yeah, I mean like once a year or something like that. But I mean, seriously, I, it's not something that is part of a daily ritual. No, I, I use the oven, but I mean, it's it's, uh, it's probably because the... Uh, the, the sticking, your, sticking your head in it after a particularly <laughs> bad week is it's not, electric. Is not Oh. That's, by the way, the worst way to go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to get electrocuted by your oven with your head in it. Um... <laughs> No, but because all the like, the cooking channel of Food Network, is that why people are just, they're all, the cooking's cool now? Uh, the biggest factor mm-hmm. they say here is uh, that Americans aren't using them as much anymore because of a shift in eating habits, which favors, now they say this, which favors freshness and quality over speed and convenience. I don't well, believe that. Well, like a baked potato takes like an hour in the oven, but you can stick it in the microwave for like, Five minutes. No, that's just, that's still healthy. It's just quicker. Absolutely. Just there quicker. is absolutely zero reason in the universe to bake a potato in the oven. <laughs> I love Susan. I'm like, serious. She's so anti oven. Well, oven. it's just, it, who has two hours to sit around and wait for something to cook in the oven when you put it in the microwave for 60 seconds? I'm just imagining the amount of cat hair in your oven right now. <laughs> There's no, oh, it's man. never been opened. It's spotless. It's spotless. I love it. I felt like I was alone. The, we would be the only person who have never used an oven. No, you're not. Nobody <laughs> uses ovens. You don't even know what they are. The <laughs> Have you ever cooked um boiled water? Have you ever uh, maybe maybe oh you're a, you're a vegetarian though, right? Or vegan or something like that? Well, yeah, but I, I cook things, but I just don't I guess you don't I know oven. nothing you cook would I mean it, it, so you actually fly in the face of what they're trying what they're trying to tell you us. You can't here. cook a steak in the microwave. Right, she's not going to be cooking a steak right. or a turkey. That's one. That, you know, I, really, the oven is only good for the turkey anyway. I'll just be honest with you. I don't even use my oven that much, except for it, either warming something that, uh, or cooking some sort of major item, baking some sort of major like pork item. Pork chops are easy in the oven. Yeah, I, I don't even broil meat so much. I would, I'd much wait, rather wait, wait, cook wait. out or ordering. Let, uh, let me ask you a question: yeah. Why in the world would you just to warm something? Turn on your oven, have to wait for it to heat up, as opposed to sticking it in the microwave for 60 seconds to heat something up. Actually, because the microwave dries it. Yeah, the microwave can do some different. Yeah, thank you, Christine. Plus I'll the finish, pizza. I'll oh, because you my want own the question. crispy. What are you, my attorney? <laughs> the hell? The, uh, my client will answer the question. Yeah, now. I'll answer the question. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, the, uh, yeah, because it, especially with, if it's doughy in any way, that screws it up. The microwave is not the best, not the preferable way to do it. It's I, just mean, I don't know what you people talk about with a baked potato. I never eat a baked potato. But if, if you have a baked you, potato. Wait, 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 wait. You've never eaten No, baked I don't eat baked potatoes. Why? I'm not interested. I got sick on one once when I was a kid. And I, I know you think They're thinking, packed with nutrients. I know, but I had, I had one once with sour cream. Not even a sweet not, potato? Not, and it came out the same way it went in. And I've oh. never, ever been able to eat it again. You should try that again. Maybe if it's been a few years, because potatoes have tons of nutrients, yeah, tons of vitamin so. C in the and skin. And they also, they taste like nothing. What do you eat with they your steak? It, t- it tastes Put like... a little olive oil on it. A baked potato? Yeah. A baked potato basically tastes like a like scalding hot nothing. No, is what it, it tastes like. Put a you ton put, of butter and sour cream and salt delicious. and pepper. Well, then, what's, then all of a sudden, all the... Then I might as well... You know what? I would much rather just take the... Actually, I don't need sour cream as a result of that either. I would just <laughs> rather rather eat a... Just have a, a stick of butter and eat it like a candy bar. Oh. 
Well, that's healthy. Okay, Homer Put that Simpson. in the oven. Exactly. Stick a butter in the oven. Yeah, let's see what goes on there. Well, the oven, you got to cook some things in the oven. You can't, right, you can't cook meat in the microwave from, from. Right, you I know, mean, it's just not going to work. Right. But you just can't, I mean, it's going to come out like crap. Or the, there's other things, you know, casseroles and things like that. Lasagna. Oh. Lasagna, thank you. Homemade. Have you you guys make your own lasagna? Oh, like she makes her own lasagna. My mom used to. The only wow. thing she can do, right. I saw, I saw my grandmother do it once. All right, hold on. Yes. Shut uh, up. What, a, what, this is the modern era. Uh, you know what? My theory on this oh, okay. is that uh, people are ordering in more, you know, picking They're up or ordering They're just not cooking more. themselves, yeah. period. Exactly. That's my theory. Oh, on it. dear. Because now I've learned that uh, two-thirds of this show today, 60, fully 66.66% <laughs> of this show, is uh, has never opened their oven other than to look inside to see if they left a piece of jewelry in there. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Whatever happened to that earring? Well, I gotta look every, or your keys, probably, right? <laughs> I'll look. I don't think I opened it, but I'll look. All right, we'll come back to your phone calls. Your theory behind this great emerging mystery of domesticity at 591-8900. All right. Back to the phones. We go to 591-8900, the microwave. Apparently, uh, according to this story today, is a thing of the past. Microwave sales are down. Everything else in the kitchen is up. Microwave sales are down. Very bizarre. All right. And I have two theories on this. People are eating out more or having, you know, delivery or picking up food, prepared foods or anything. Which I, it would, you would think you'd be using microwave more for that. Yeah. But, but perhaps they live a short enough distance that they're okay with it. And you can't reheat. The microwave is not the best way to reheat pizza. Pizza is best. And since we learned that one out of every five meals Americans eat in a given, <laughs> every fifth meal they eat is pizza. A uh, cold pizza. I don't think people heat it up again at all. They just yeah, eat it cold. I like that, by the way. Big fan. But the, uh, and I think there's that. And I also think, you know why? Everything you, you go to, they, they said the toaster oven continues to boom exponentially. Also a good way to reheat pizza. The toaster oven's cooler looking than it used to be. They keep making the toaster oven look cooler. Why can't you just use your toaster? Your microwave never looks cooler. There's no such thing as a cool looking microwave. Well, the, but it's just such an automatic kitchen appliance in every kitchen you walk into. It's like built in, like just like a refrigerator or a dishwasher is. Tim, you're on WLS. Hello, Tim. Yes. Everything that you eat in the microwave, Susan, is rubbery, starting <laughs> with pizza. And then, like you're saying, all those prepared foods that you can buy at Jewel or Whole Foods or Costco, if you put them in the microwave, they're rubbery. If you put them in the oven or the toaster oven, which we use every day for our six-year-old for breakfast, they taste good and they might even be healthy for you. Hey, uh, you're not one of these uh, Jenny McCarthy, Kristen Cavallari guys who thinks that uh, microwaving something for your kid's gonna gonna give them radiation, are you? No, not at all. All right, the good. Only thing all right. I, use, I will put a potato in the microwave for five minutes, but then I finish it in the oven. You do, but then you got to you know wait what? all that time no, for the oven to heat up. No, no, no. He's, he, I'll bet you you're broiling it at the end, right? Because you want to get right. the skin crispy. Exactly. Five minutes in the toaster oven, ten minutes on convection in the oven, yeah. and it's gourmet. Yeah. And <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I, I see what he's doing there. Because it, that's the other thing. Because it, it, like, it's like having a boiled potato. You know, my grandmother used to make boiled potatoes, and which makes the potato... Uh, God's most boring food. It's the most perfect food. Oh, it's the most boring food ever. It makes the banana look like look like a chili pepper. I can't believe even a version of potatoes. I know, oh, it's, it's so just weird. Oh, no, I like what you can do with a potato. You can but, put but, it in everything. Yeah, but like a French. You fry, like the idea of fabulous. It. <laughs> you know, but you can a, try finishing your potato in the oven. It's, okay. it, is, it is good that way. I right. will take that tip, except I don't want to wait. 30 minutes for my oven to heat up. Well, it's the immediate gratification. Well, my God. Oven. It'll be done in 10 minutes. I don't have time. So wait, what do, you <laughs> put, what do you put in the toaster oven for your child that you cook him breakfast in the toaster oven every day? Pop-tart? Toast, bagels, Pop-Tarts. All kinds of Eggo waffles. Yeah. Well, toast, any kind of toast. Well, now there are veggie burgers that you're supposed to put in toaster ovens or your toaster. I just had one of that. Well, those the other night. The, I think the toaster oven's gotten better, too. Thank you, Tim. Oh, yeah. I think that's, that's, that's the wrong. issue. They're good. Thanks now, for the tip. Now, when I was a kid, once a week in my house, the toaster oven would catch fire. What? Yep. No no question about it. There would be a moment where something would leak <laughs> and there would just flames or smoke coming out was of it. Was that when your turtle died? <laughs> No, that was that was an, that was a lamp that oh, actually oh, covered okay. a separate issue. Don't, don't wait. Confuse the, the turtle issue. got burned. Oh, stop it, <laughs> Linda! That was you're on WLS. Hi, Linda. Oh, sorry. Hi. I disagree 
with you on cooking uh, meat in the microwave. Um, my boyfriend showed me how to cook chicken and fish. They are outstanding. You're basically steaming or poaching with a great seasoning packet, you know, like a little onion. Oh, you can do that if you wrap it. Like, is he wrapping it like no, in? you're not wrapping. You're putting you're it just wrapping. on a plate and it's going around in a circle? Yes, you're putting it. I use Corningware with a glass lid. You're putting it in white wine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's essential. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're essentially steaming it. You're doing it what they would do in an oven anyway. Yeah. I do not cook chicken or fish in the regular oven ever. That's how I cook it. Takes it takes too long. Great. Your microwave recipe is right here. saute anything. Thank you. Kathy yeah. and Judy called. They want their bit back. Thank you, Linda. Jeez. You've started it, Ro. I said, I wanted to know, sociologically, are we? what are we eating? Why are we eating more? And why the hell is she in love with a potato? I don't know why. Pants and a potato. <laughs> I feel like I you puked when you were six and you don't like potatoes anymore. I don't. That's Not your weird. baked potato. The baked potato. Anything else? It, the French fry, the cottage fry. Well, it has to be baked before it can be put into other concoctions. You no, make, put it them doesn't. in casseroles you and everything bake else. Before you make a French fry, you you, you do something. Slice else it, stick it in the deep fryer. Oh the no, twice. you slice it and put it in the microwave. Now I'll say the twice baked potato. The twice baked you potato. like those? Oh, I love oh, that. Oh, then you're lying. Then, then, then you like a baked potato. No, it's not really baked. It's it like mashed potatoes. In, it's it's baked twice. It's baked twice. No, it's not <laughs> baked. It's not even. It's, it's a misnomer. It's like French fries. They're not from France. No, it's not. It's they're baked twice. twice. No, it's, it it's mashed it potatoes stuffed into a potato skin. But you After it's both, baked, and then you bake it again, and you finish it off in the oven. It's, but it's not really baked. You have no it is potato. baked. Oh. Can we agree to disagree and drink no, in half an hour? No, we cannot. I don't like the way any of this is going. Because <laughs> it's not going your way. <laughs> Diane, you're on WLS. Hello, Diane. Hi. I totally disagree with everything you guys said, but I usually love So do you. I. <laughs> I have six kids who are grown up already, all living on their own, successful, yay. And none of them ever use the microwave. I go to their house and they said, we even had a conversation at Thanksgiving, they said the only reason they do is to heat up leftovers. They cook. Fresh food on the stove or in the oven all the time. God so bless think, them. Yeah, but they love it. And I love going to their house because they cook much better than I do. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, that's an interesting. Maybe. Thank you, Diane. Maybe the baby boomer who gave us, baby boomers, who gave us the microwave oven in the first place. It was just another one of those things that they did that pretty much ruined the American culture. How did it ruin the culture? Why do you hate microwaves? What did they ever do to you? Well, first of all, that was, yeah, like the old microwaves, like you put something in the microwave, and the next thing you know, the microwave would just go up. Well, we're, we've advanced past that. They don't blow up anymore, and they're an ingenious way to cook and that, up anything and, frozen. And then Grandpa would come over with a with a pacemaker. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and then flatline right in front of you. I'm going to heat up some water, Grandpa. I hope you don't mind me. And then next thing you know, he's lying dead on the floor. Oh, that's wonderful. Ever put a peep in the microwave? <laughs> Yeah, have you ever done that? Do tricks in. Yeah, <laughs> done that. Or a piece, of, or you know what? You ever put soap in a microwave, like a bar of soap in the microwave, no. and watch what happens? No. Oh yeah. What happens? Too. Oh yeah. It's not Find good. out. Yeah, it's not good. Do you ever now, accidentally put something metal in the microwave? It becomes like pumice. Yeah, and then watch the sparks go off of it. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. <laughs> that, See all the fun things you can do. But that's all you can. All right, try to put like uh, one of those like for Thanksgiving, and I know it's like your least favorite holiday of the I year. I love Thanksgiving. But you take like one of those. Candied, like you know, like a a baked sweet potato that yeah. they put mm-hmm. the marshmallows on. Throw that in the microwave and see what happens. It it becomes like a a molten. It, it, it's a like volcano. It's like, right. It's like Hawaii. <laughs> it's all of a sudden you're watching stuff like come out of it and it's going into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Hours of amusement on top of fast food. What's not to like about the microwave? All right, hold on.